And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Scorpiovenator, which was a request from Velociraptor256 via Discord and Patreon. Speaking of perks of being one of our patrons, as Garrett mentioned, if you join, then you get to request dinosaurs. Scorpiovenator was an abelosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Argentina in the Huincul Formation. It was one of the most complete abelosaurs known, and the holotype was mostly complete. It was only missing parts of the tail and forelimbs. Scorpiovenator was estimated to be 19.7 feet or 6 meters long. Gregory Paul estimated it to be 24.6 feet or 7.5 meters long, though, and weigh 1.67 tons. Another estimate in 2016 said that it was 20.3 feet or 6.2 meters long. Scorpiovenator had short, pretty much useless arms. Being an abelosaurid, that's not too surprising. Yes, <laughs> but it did have strong legs and thighs. It had a short, stout skull that had many ridges, furrows, and bumps. It's not clear why it had so many bumps on its head. Its skull was shorter and deeper than Abelosaurus and Majungasaurus. Scorpiovenator had 19 maxillary teeth, which is more than other Abelosaurids. Since so many teeth were found with the skeleton, the discovery of Scorpiovenator makes it easier for scientists to compare teeth and figure out what kind of dinosaur it came from. So it's possible that teeth thought to be from Carcharodontosaurids at the end of the Cretaceous may have been Scorpiovenator or other abelosaurids, and this helps shed more light on the types of dinosaurs that lived in the Cretaceous in South America. Scorpiovenator was described in 2009 by Canale, Scanferia, Agnolan, and Novus, and the name means scorpion hunter, and that's because there were a lot of scorpions at the dig site. It's a really cool name. Mm -hmm. The origin of the name is less cool than thinking of it as a giant scorpion-like dinosaur, though. True. At first, I was kind of expecting it to be a stegosaur because you could imagine an analogy there with the big spiky tail to a mm. scorpion. Mm -hmm. But being a remarkably complete abelosaurus, I'm surprised Scorpiovenator isn't in more pop culture. It's such a cool sounding dinosaur. Maybe it'll pop up in the next Jurassic World. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the full type species name is Scorpiovenator bustingorii. And the species name is in honor of Manuel Bustingori, owner of the farm where the dinosaur was found. Other dinosaurs that lived in the same time and place included Carcharodontosaurid Mapusaurus and the Abelosaurid Elocalesia. The Scorpiovenator fossils are now at the Ernesto Bachman Paleontological Museum of Villa El Chocón in Patagonia, Argentina. Not sure if they're on display, though. Yes. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.